Hello guys, my name is Prince and this is my center. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. Post your comments and questions on my social media handles and I'll respond to it. We are on the topic plane geometry. In the previous video, we picked some questions that involved power lines. In this video, we are going to pick some more questions which involve power lines. So, we are being told that we have to find the value of the letters, letter or the letters in the following diagrams. So, you pick the first diagram here. So, in this diagram, you are going to find the value of X and Y. So, I'm going to shift it to this side so that we can solve. Now, we study the diagram very carefully. We have power lines and transversals, so we can use co-interior, alternating or corresponding angles, or any of the three previous uh, properties that we learned. Now, looking at this diagram very well, we know that vertically opposite angles are equal. So, if vertically opposite angles are equal, and this side, this angle here is 120 degrees then i can also say that this angle here is also 120 degrees since this side here or this angle here and this angle here are vertically opposite angles now if i have this to be 120 degrees then from the properties of power lines angle properties of power lines i know that y and 120 degrees are co-interior angles so i can say that co-interior angles sum up to 120 180 degrees so y plus 120 degrees will give me 180 degrees and y will give me 60 degrees so you see that i wanted to find y but in order to find y i wanted to use the property of co-interior angles so looking at this and this I, I saw that 120 degrees is vertically opposite to this so if i bring it here i can say that co-interior angles add up to 180 degrees so y plus 120 degrees will give me 180 degrees there are so many ways of doing this somebody can also do it this way he will say that y and this side here are alter alternating angles so here is y now when you have it to be y you are going to have y plus 120 degrees equal to 180 degrees using angles on a straight line so you can do it in so many ways and you can you will still be able to find it so always pick the one that is convenient to you we've done we've done with s we are done with y so let's move on to x how do you find x here now to find x here i want to use the property of angles on the straight line now so here is y here is x so i'm going to assume that this place here i'm going to write another letter here or a variable here which is y so which is v so i'm assuming that this place here is v so if i'm able to find the value of v i know y already i'll be able to find x now how do i find v to find v i want to use co-interior now v and this side here will be co-interior v and this side here will be co-interior but how do i find this side here so I'm saying that angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. So y plus x plus v will give me 180 degrees. This is what I want to use. I already know y. X is what I want to find. So it means that I have to find v. If I'm going to find v, then I'll be able to find x. Since so that will be the only variable left. Now to find v, I want to use the property of co-interior. So v and this side here are co-interior. So I'm going to assume that here is a certain variable called w now you can see from here that w and 140 degrees are vertical opposite we know that vertical opposite angles are equal so w will give me 140 degrees so i've been able to find this side here to be 140 degrees so v and w are co-interior i cannot use the co-interior that i wanted to use so v and w are co-interior angles we know that co-interior angles add up to 180 degrees so v plus w will give us 180 degrees i know w to be 140 degrees so v will give me 40 degrees after i simplify the whole thing now i have y i have v so i can find x so with y and v i can find x because i know that y plus x plus v will give me 180 degrees since angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees 
y is 60 v is 40 so i'm going to have 60 degrees plus x plus 40 degrees to give me 180 degrees so x will give me 80 degrees after i simplify the whole thing let's consider another question here so we have this diagram and we are supposed to find x now you can see from here that x is outside x is the angle out here now to find such an angle what you have to do is that it's always easier to find the inner angle to find the angle that we have here the inner angle then you subtract that from 360 so that you get the outer angle since you know that angles are around a point to add up to 360 degrees so this is what we are going to do we are going to call this point here point o as i have here then we bring another variable here which will be which will cater for the inner angle here we are going to call that p now because we have a power line here a power line here the transversals do not continue to the other side of the power line as we did in the other video we are going to bring an alternate straight line or, or sorry an alternate power line which is this power line here that you have an imaginary power line now we know that before we bring this imaginary power line, because we have written here as p or because you have indicated this side as p we already know that the outer angle is x right now we have the inner angle to be p if you add x to p or p to x you are going to get 360 degrees since angles around a point so angles around this point o if you add all of them you should get 360 degrees so to help us to solve this we bring this imaginary power line here now this imaginary power line is going to help us to find the inner angle then we can now subtract it from 360 degrees then we get the outer angle all that is clear now as soon as you bring this imaginary power line it's going to divide the p that you brought here into two parts so it's going to divide it into i'm assuming i'm saying that this is going to divide into x and h so from this i can say that if you want to find p find z find is going to divide into z and h sorry so if you want to find p find z and h and add it and you'll be able to get p all that is clear so let's begin by finding z looking at this carefully looking at position of 52 degrees and z we can see that z and 52 degrees are alternating angles look at their position very well z is here 52 degrees is here and they are alternating angles we know that alternating angles or alternate angles are equal so z is equal to 52 degrees now looking at the position of h also here very carefully h and the angle that we have here this small angle that we have here are also alternating so if here is h then h and this angle here are alternating now to find h we now have this outer angle here to be one two three one two degrees we have the inner angle here to be h we know that angles around a point will give us 360 degrees if you sum all of them so angles around a point sum up to 360 degrees so h plus three one two degrees will give us 360 degrees from here we can find h and we have found h to be 48 degrees now we know z to be 52 degrees we know h to be 48 degrees so we can find p okay so we know that p will give us 52 degrees plus 48 degrees and that will be 100 degrees now the question did not tell us to find p the question said we should find s we only brought p because it will help us to find x now we have found p we know that angles around a point add up to 360 degrees so p plus x will give us 360 degrees we know that p is 100 degrees so 100 degrees plus x will be 360 degrees and x will give us 260 degrees thank you for watching this video and all the other videos Pick more examples on questions of this nature and try your hands on it. 
solve more more if you have any problem with them interact with me on my social media handles and i'll help you to understand it see you in the next video where we will consider the angle properties of triangles bye bye